Yeah, I don't know why I ever thought that uh, 11 a.m. in suburbia would be a good time to do video outdoors. Because you get saws, lawn mowers, <laughs> wood chippers. Shake the whole body. And step out to a wider stance. We'll loosen up the waist. Feel like your feet are firmly rooted. The waist is relaxed. The upper body is light and follows where the waist leads it. See Victor. Hi, Victor. <laughs> That's wonderful. My uh, laptop screen is filled with squares. Well, actually, they're rectangles, but. Now, bring your feet together. We'll loosen up the knees. And change direction. And now the ankles. Change direction. the other foot. And change direction. All right. Uh, on the rotation of our exercises, uh, all season Qigong is due for Saturday. So, interlock your fingers, breathe deeply into your lower dantian, inhale, exhale, stretch out any tight places, and continue deep breathing.
Inhale. Exhale, turn to the side. Inhale, come back to the front. Exhale, turn to the other side. Inhale, come back to the front. One more time to each side. Inhale, come back to the front. Exhale, turn to the side. Inhale, come back to the front. Take a wrist, stretch up, exhale, and bend. You can probably hear the noise in the background from the uh, wood chipper. Inhale, come back to center. Change to the other wrist, stretch up, exhale, and bend. Inhale, come back to center. Once more to each side. Inhale, come back to center. Stretch up, exhale, and bend. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, bend your waist, move your hips around to loosen your lower back. And squat down with feet flat if you can. And lift up your heels. Loosen up the shoulders, bring your shoulders forward and inhale, roll them to the back and exhale. Stop with your shoulders in the back. Now inhale with your shoulders held back. Reverse directions. Exhale when your shoulders come forward. Now, alternating sides, inhale on one side, exhale on the other. Stop on the exhale side, now inhale on that side, change direction, exhale on the other side.
Now drop your chin onto your chest. Pull your head to the side. Gently stretch out the muscles on the side of your neck. And roll down, put your chin on your chest again. Roll up the other side. Gently stretch. And continue rotating slowly from side to side. Now we'll step out to shoulder width stance, bend the waist slightly for boot explorers to see, stretch the neck muscles evenly forward, inhale, exhale, turn your head, look up at the ceiling, inhale, come back to center, exhale, turn the other way, look up at the ceiling, inhale, come back to center, continue turning slowly from side to side in coordination with your breathing and while keeping your neck muscles evenly stretched forward. back upright, we'll step out to horse stance, and we'll start horizontal circles. Coordinate with breathing. Inhale as your lower dantian goes backwards. Exhale as it comes forward. Focus your mind on your lower spine and sacrum. Turn slowly to the side. Gradually come back to center and turn to the other side. Knees stay straight ahead. And come back to center in reverse directions. Continue to coordinate with breathing. Continue to focus your mind on the lower spine and sacrum.
slowly turn to the side. Gradually come back to center and turn to the other side. Come back to center, slowly make the circle smaller, and we'll come to a stop and we'll wave the spine, coordinating with the breathing, inhale here, exhale here. Place your mind in your lumbar spine. Feel the vertebrae move section by section in a slow, soft way. Slowly turn to the side. Gradually come back to center and turn to the other side. Come back to center. Now bring the weight up to the shoulders. Continue to coordinate with your breathing. Inhale here. Exhale here. Now what we're doing this one, if you want to add the healing sound, you could add the healing sound for triple burner, or you could do lung healing sound or heart healing sound. Triple burner is she, heart is ha, ha, like a dog panting, lungs like you're leaking from a balloon, make the sound here before you get to bend over, so you begin your exhale about right here. You don't want to make the sound when you bend over like this because um, the uh, organs and the interstitial tissue will be tense. We'll not be able to release the chi. Now, we turn to the left, turn to your left, and this is the spleen side, so the spleen sound is who, who. So you make the sound again. Before you get too bent over, start your exhale. Who. Make the sound. Who. Who. 
to center. Now <clears throat> we turn to the right, to your right. Um, that will be the liver side. The liver sound is shoo. 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 Come back to center. Now add the arms. <clears throat> now feel your whole body connected from the bottoms of your feet to the tips of your fingers. You should feel a wave come up the body section by section, slowly and softly. And again, you can then uh, use uh, the sound if you wish to use the sound for any of the organs that are bilateral here or centered. So triple burner, heart, lungs. Oops. So if you're using triple burner sound, uh, if you may feel some sensation in the ring fingers, that's the triple burner channel. So that would be entirely normal if you felt like well, something's going on in my ring fingers. Yeah, triple burner channel. Okay, now one at a time. You know, the whole objective of this exercise for Tai Chi is to connect the body and make it not only connected, but loose and relaxed. Now the other arm. So now when you have the connection from the root through the waist, chest, spine, arm, uh, shoulder, arm, and finally the hand, you will have the ability to generate Tai Chi Jing. Which is like whipping power. Because of the connection and the relaxation, the body can move like a whip. And also because of relaxation, your chi can flow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, last demo. That one's a demonstration of the whipping. So once again with the exercise we find it has martial art application and health application uh, because in the case of Tai Chi Chuan entirely compatible so we want the body to be relaxed so that the body can move like so um, and that also allows the Chi to flow so uh, what's good for the Tai Chi Martial art is also good for your health. All right, uh, well, I wanted to do some more of the uh, uh, white crane, so let's put one foot forward and rock. 
opposite hand, opposite knee forward. Now we'll change feet, opposite hand, opposite knee forward. Uh, breathing pattern on this single, uh, alternate single wing, external to internal circling pattern. Usually I do like inhale, exhale, or you can do the opposite. It can be exhale, inhale. So one half of the breath on each arm. Knees pointing in the same direction as the toes on the corresponding foot, of course. And we'll step back into even stance. And we'll do energy cleansing. So now extend your arms out to the sides and gather the universal healing chi that surrounds us. And as you exhale, bring the chi you've gathered in through the byway gate at the top of your head and down layer by layer through your body. Feel the fresh chi flushing out stale chi, pain and illness, stress and tension, toxic substances flushing them all the way down to the bottoms of your feet and out into the depths of the earth. And again, inhale and gather the chi. Exhale, bring it in through by way and down, again, inch by inch down through every bone and muscle, every organ. Feel it cleansing and healing all the way down to the bottoms of your feet and out into the earth. And one more time, inhale and gather the chi. Exhale, bring it in and down. Again, inch by inch through every cell in your body, feel the fresh chi flowing, healing and revitalizing. all the way down to the bottoms of your feet and out into the earth. Okay.